Rockwood Mini Light 2306 here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Extremely popular, extremely lightweight little bunkhouse with a Murphy bed. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a 5 pound sack. You're going to see a lot of options and upgrades present in this video that are not standard equipment. I'm going to try to point those out as we go, as well as point out the, uh, the benefits of both Rockwood ownership as well as this model. The uh, long story short, this is kind of stock footage. Not every single model we carry is going to be exactly like this one. So always double check our website or call our salesman or hey, you're always welcome to visit our dealership anytime. So things like power awnings, power tongue jacks, you know, uh, they're, they're higher grade on a Rockwood. There's like a 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 series motors. Long story short, Rockwood's going to use the nicer appliances and uh, fixtures that move faster, last longer and provide better service. We are looking at a highly upgraded Sapphire Edition here, which is what's giving us the full uh, vanilla ice cream exterior, as well as some other fun things like these frameless windows here. They just, they look amazing. Frameless windows look absolutely killer. They do keep the seal hidden under the window pane to keep them away from uh, extra UV rays. Now, um, the uh, aluminum wheels here not only look good, but they're mounted on torsion ride axles. You're looking at $500 more per axle, $1,000 extra dollars in this video as compared to any other lightweight really out there that, uh, uh, you know, it's not just extra money. What that's doing for you is it's a rubber shock dampening system that helps absorb uh, road stresses before they get translated into the body of this coach because that's, that's really how a lot of your failures start is the coach starts to wiggle and it loses shape. Like imagine if you twisted a shoebox, that's what could happen to this if those road stresses were not properly absorbed. Now, helping combat those even further is the fact that this is fully six-sided laminated. Most lightweight trailers have laminated sidewalls. Walk up to the rear wall of the coach, the front wall, the roof, the floor, and do the same thing. On a Rockwood, it is fully laminated, fully vacuum laminated at that, which is the strongest, longest lasting process out there. There's nothing wrong with pinch rolling, and uh, please give us a call if you need an explanation of A versus B. I have pinch rolled products out here that are extremely reliable. They work fine. Um, over time, the vacuum lamination process has been shown to last longer with fewer instances of failure. Nothing is guaranteed failure proof. Um, just like, you know, my wife will tell you, I'm not perfect either. She will probably admit that very quickly. Anyway, uh, anytime you see a power vent fan in a Rockwood, you're going to see the roof vent cover built right onto it. That is an extra thing they're doing for you that other manufacturers aren't, won't, or don't. And what's nice about that is now, first of all, you don't have to spend extra money aftermarket to do that. Secondly, they're guaranteeing their workmanship on it. Now, we have not only a big power awning here, but you know what? I forgot to turn on the lights. Give me just a second. And one of the cool things about this model is right when you walk in, you have the control center. Bam, patio lights right there. So they also have a full LED light strip going on right here uh, that runs the entire length of the coach. Some guys I've seen that are running LED lights now are starting to put only a 10-foot strip in on every single model, no matter the awning size, and they mount it in the middle to kind of fake it a little bit. But with a Rockwood, you're going to see full LED light strips made to the size of the awning. Um, this awning is easily pitch adjustable. I actually, I'm a little close to this camper over here, so I don't want to get to playing with that. But long story short, you can just pull this awning arm down, cinch it down, and it'll stay pitched so that you can use this in the rain. Notice we have an indoor-outdoor TV. How cool is this? The, what's nice is you don't have to really monkey with the TV. It's the entire swing arm that dismounts with the TV still on it. Then naturally you just hook your uh, TV cables down here and whatever you're playing inside, you can have outside. Now what's neat is this black line right here, that is our grill mount station. So you're grilling while watching the game under the awning, enjoying the breeze or getting some tunes. That's freaking awesome. That's exactly what we're looking at here. It's just way higher level stuff. Um, notice too that like even their, their sliding screen door here, it's, uh, it's a little higher grade. It's not the cheaper plastic one. So if the grandkids come over and they pull on it to shut the door, it's far less likely just to get ripped apart essentially. Um, another question we get on these a lot of times is what is this little solar charge deal? What is that? And uh, long story short, the trailer is all pre-wired for a uh, suitcase style um, just trickle charge battery system. It is not made to run the AC and all that stuff. Now I mentioned how the awning's a better grade. The awning button's right here. You see how quickly this rolls itself up. If you're out shopping, ask the next guy, hey, can you uh, put some power to this unit and play with the awning? And you're going to see that uh, not all these awnings are built the same. This is 30 seconds, what, in or out, if that, maybe less than that. And uh, you know, 
now your awning's put away. If you wake up at night, you hear your awning banging around out there, all you do is push one button and the uh, awning will, you know, run itself right in. You're never even going to have to worry about putting on pants, you know, it's just easy. Now, the interiors of Rockwood campers can be highly variant. And what I mean by that is what we're looking at here is the uh, metropolitan color scheme with a leatherette type sofa, fabric dinettes. Uh, we're looking at hickory wood finish with a wood toned floor. All three of those things can change from model to model. That's why I'm saying uh, this video may not look exactly like the one you're taking home. We will tend to order stuff with very similar, if not identical, equipment packages. But in, in terms of interior decors and cosmetics, uh, you know, we order a lot of different things to offer different options to people. We're a large dealership with a lot of different options here. Um, okay, so let's just start digging into the meat and potatoes of this. You'll notice that all of your interior doors are all hardwood. This is made for abuse. These are not made to fall apart. Notice that your big overhead door here, as heavy as it is, they put a double strut on there to keep it held open so that it's just easier. You don't have to duck under it to get in there. Now your countertop space would normally be almost non-existent. So to combat that, because in a 23 foot camper with bunks, there's just not much else you can do. This is how you have to build it. There's only so many ways you can shove stuff into this box to make it fit. So they put a sink cover on here so that you have usable countertop space here, as well as the flush top stove so that you have functional countertop space here. And if you are a campsite cook, enjoy the fact that this is a bigger 22 inch oven, not the little 16. And they do give you a handy little flip up station here as well. Handy little uh, power outlets next to the kitchen are always good for coffee makers and things too. Um, right next to the kitchen, we also have a, a big tall pantry here. And uh, you know, food storage in any bunkhouse is a big deal. So you can use this like a pantry. You see it's also set up like a closet if you wanna use it that way. Um, I mentioned, you know, construction just while we're inside here, show you that this is a zero flex full walk on heavy duty roof. It is awesome. These, these are built like a tank and they're overbuilt with the idea of longevity. People, why don't you get more of these on trade? Because you don't upgrade from a Rockwood, you upgrade to a Rockwood. That's why. Um, you know, longer things like all LED interior lights. You're not going to have to worry about replacing light bulbs in here all the time, and you see that they're high quality. Even here during the day, you're getting lots of light out of these. Uh, the uh, twin bunk set up here is one of those things that this is one of the smallest, lightest, highly appointed and equipped lightweights you will ever find. Um, let me back up this direction real quick. Normally your TV would mount on that swing arm up there. Obviously currently we have that outside. Look at that big window over the dinette cascading some good light in here. That's worth its weight in gold. Um, the dining table here, first of all, this is freestanding, so if you want to take this outside or anything, you can do that. But just to show you again how these are built, notice even in your dinette, everything is aluminum uh, caged. You know, you're not worried about um, stuff falling apart on you or extra weight. Now, where they do need to add extra structure, if they have to screw into that aluminum framework there, they will actually stuff it with wood so the screws have something to really bite into. Hidden behind the TV up here is a handy little charging station so you can have your uh, like mobile devices charging all the time. Now your stereo system in a Rockwood's upgraded as well. This is an IRV 33 series. Um, there's an IRV 33 and IRV 30, er, 66 app you can download on any Android or iPhone or whatever you have. And uh, you can turn your phone into a wireless Bluetooth remote control for your stereo. There are other Bluetooth DVD players out there that don't have that functionality. It's that extra little stuff that you know defines the Rockwood. Now in this video, you see that we have added the Hickory hardwood inserts into the refrigerator. That's another one of those options that can vary. So again, if your pictures look wildly different, please understand why. Oh, I forgot to mention until I saw this bulging. Rockwood also includes the ladder for you. So you don't have to throw the kids to the upper bunk. That's a common question. How do you get the kids to the upper bunk? Bottom line is, most of the time you throw them, and now you don't have to. Um, again, anytime you see a fan in a Rockwood, a power ceiling fan, it is the bigger vent fan that provides far more airflow. If you leave a couple windows open and turn that on, you're going to get a six mile an hour breeze through your camper. It is pretty intense. Not to mention, they, they're still giving you a window back here for more airflow. And uh, the, the bathroom is, is small, but effective. I'm a big guy, and you see that my legs are past a 90 degree bend, so I don't have to you know, do the uh, twist them up bathroom yoga or anything. And it's th these little touches, like the little um, bathroom pocket here for like your soaps and your shampoos. I know people are saying, well, they got a shelf right there. Yeah, 
But you get these shells wet and you put a big shampoo bottle on there and it's always falling down. So they just cut out the middleman and they made this easier. Now notice too, they're giving you the surround wall paneling right here uh, as opposed to just normal wall paneling. Now, if they didn't put the surround paneling in here, when you're showering, all the water that sprays off your body could actually water damage the walls. So they prevent that from happening. And we're getting a skylight as well as a power vent fan, not cheating and putting the power vent fan above the shower like a lot of guys will try to do. Um, you know, it'll save a dollar, but it's you, you give up stuff for it. But this really right here that we're looking at is the, the, the cherry on top. And this is what really seals the deal. This is a Murphy bed model. It's two floor plans in one. It's, it's uh, you know, robots in disguise. It's a transformer. Um, the uh, whole point here is that like a hybrid camper, you get a 23 foot floor plan. However, your bed space does not occupy living space. It's bonus freebie space. The difference here though, is that you don't have to deal with canvas bed ends. There's nothing wrong with hybrid campers. They're great, they serve a cool purpose, but you do hear everything at night. They don't have that insulative sound quality. They don't have the, the high insulation level period. This being fully laminated actually is not too darn bad. Now I'll show you how easy this is to set up. And this is my favorite part about it is that it literally only takes one hand to do. So you jackknife a sofa down. So we're about three seconds in right now. That's all there is to it. You undo your little latches here, pull down the bed, which is that's easy because there's a pair of struts that help you and we're done. Literally 10 seconds with me jack jawing the entire time. Um, you know, that's that's all there is to it. Now we have a front bed and we have two single bunks and we have a dinette that can fold down into extra space. Or during the day, you have a front living room, you have a dining table and you have, uh, you know, a couple storage pockets over here. This is a sweet model that does just about everything. And it's it's got even got like central air. A 23 foot lightweight with central air is very, very hard to find. Uh, additionally, this has a, a slight cathedral ceiling sweep to it. It actually increases three inches roughly from the sidewall to the pinnacle here. It's that extra open breathing space that you're really going to enjoy over time. And it's the higher level appointments, the more uh, longevity and reliability, and just the higher grade features that are going to cause you to really love this over time. You know, you're gonna be super stoked when you take this thing home. You're gonna be like, this is awesome, I'm really happy. And the first time you go camping and you see the guy next door wrestling with his old camper, you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm really glad I went top shelf with this. I made the right call. And you know, that's what you get with a Rockwood. They are the premier lightweight out there. They have fought tooth and nail for years and years and they've scraped their way and earned their reputation. And uh, that's why we're so happy to sell them here. This is our biggest lightweight brand and we carry about five of them. So it, it says a lot. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.